Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I drifted off a little bit there. We are Sankar Nanuka of Kanyakubja. We aggressively expanded and took over our neighbor, Kalip. That's worn off. We recently got new birds. We're waiting to see what happens on that event. But I've been basically playing this trying to work out who am I going to attack next? And the answer is probably wherever these guys is weakest. 643, 668, 445. I think you might be our next target, I'm afraid. We need to make sure we. Oh, and again. We need to make sure we cross the Ganges. It's a slightly other location. Now, we could take a massive karma hit when we try and declare this one and go for subjugation. If we win the war, we take all the vassals and titles within that kingdom. Or we another war of aggression. Tanking our prestige just that little bit more. Um, I'm feeling aggressive. Let's just carry on with this. Done. We will now push the magic button of armies up. We will gather our souls here. And pause, not the time down to three. So there's the entirety of your army. My army, because it's my liege levy. Because army seems to start at a much higher morale than yours. So I will be leading the centre. We'll go with... Yeah, let's go with two flanks for a change, so we can get that little bit extra things. And looks like you are our only other commander. So our flanks will be a little bit weaker, but we are going to cross the Ganges. Because, hey, our rabbit was killed, brought to me by a new bird. I like this. Diplomacy plus one for aspiring falconer. That's good to know. Are you actually going to come across the Ganges at me? I thought not. Uh, I'll do my the previous trick, which we will call the Col Maneuver. Whereas I go to Col... Because there isn't a river border there. The AI then goes, Oh, he's not nearby. And tries to cross. Alright, well, let's go to luck now. Alright, there we go. He is coming across. Ooh. Vassal levies rise too long. Alright, that's not too much of a problem. I wonder if we'll get lucky and capture the guy this time so we don't have to do any sieging. You are going to arrive on the 29th of August. There you go. Welcome to my trap. Um... You really should have stayed on your side of the Ganges. I was going to come for you anyway, but oh, sucks to be you. Engaged. Let's uh, knock the time down. So we've completely squished that flank before we even got to the melee phase. So that's the running away symbol. These guys have engaged. Looks like this one's also going in my favor. So now we have a slight flanking bonus as we hit the center. Then unled. Yep, and now we're in the melee phase, because these guys have folded, and my center apparently routed. But we're able to do enough damage to them with our flanks that these guys also ran away. I got a little lucky, I hadn't noticed how low that morale had got. So we gained 18.7 war score. A little bit of prestige, no technology. Um, we lost 151. They lost 96, so proportionally... Proportionally, this bit of combat worked out better for the, me than them, but yeah, that that stung. Uh, we still have the larger army, but uh, ouch. Ooh, new bird is almost too perfect. Enjoy every hunt with her, and the cook has found troll. Find your recipes for all that rabbit. Gain 15 prestige. I am a falconer. Gain the trait falconer. Plus one diplomacy. Same trade opinion. Hey, we are now falconer, the, the, the falconer. The cynical falconer. Alright, so we're going to do what we did before. We are going to pursue via here. We're not going to cross the Ganges at him. Because I don't think that'll work very well. So you are going to be in the, there on the 13th. I will be there on the 9th, so I'm going to get there first. It's planes. So no defensive bonus. So there goes one flank, there goes the other flank. That gives me the flanking bonus on the center. Combat is the best teacher! We are now a skilled technician, so our marshal has gone up by three. Our intrigue and stewardship have both gone up by one. Learning remains the same. Personal combat skill has gone the same. Yeah, all right, excellent. This is going to help in this bit of combat. I mean, the guy's center is unled. What's your troop composition? So we've both got heavy infantry. I've got... I'm getting absolutely munched by unled troops. Let's pause. Close that. 
11 prestige from this one. Again, we lost some more troops than we killed, but we have the situation that we are now actively sieging him. We have more things. So in the center, we've got that, which is very similar to what he had. So what is it about you, me, or my character that makes me quite so vulnerable? Hmm. Rather than getting too far into this, let's uh, let my, the morale of my center army recover. And then we'll go hunting his army. Oh, we've got levy reinforcement speed. Which is useful, given that we are, we are taking casualties. So that's my morale stopped up. I don't particularly feel the need to engage that when this is ticking down at point. Really, right? We've the Trent of Rosa morale. Raided the besiegers. Oh. Combat is the best teacher. Now we've got two brilliant strategists. So, Marshall's gone up by another three. Intrigue and Stuart have gone up by one. Excellent. So we're now defending. Again, we've ripped right his flank. And again, my <laughs> I have run away in the center. Gained yet more prestige. And sent his army packing again. Um, unfortunately, we are currently in a position where we don't actually have enough troops to do any sieging. So that was quite a clever move on his part. So we need to go away. Um, I think I'll stick with the formation we've got. He's attacking me again. So it gives me another 11, 11 points of war score. Harm indeed. You fool, you've insulted them. Another 11 points of more score. In this case, we did actually do slightly better. Uh, I do believe this caps out at 75. We're just going to sit here for a bit, and I'm going to stand my army down. And then wait for a little bit. I'm not going to bother raising my vassals. They're a little bit annoyed at me. We've still got the fact that we're running an army. Unpause, James. Unpause, you silly marmoset. We've got enough cash now that we actually start looking at doing some interesting things. He's also re-raising his army. Right, he's got garrison of 260, apparently what we need. Well, we should have a larger army than that. I'm not going to bother raising my vassals. Everybody meet up here. Thank you. Pause. Group. I will lead the center. And you will lead that flank. We apparently lost a commander. You are no personal combat skill. You are brave, moral defense, but you're also ugly. And you are my steward. No, thank you. You, morale damage, you're cruel. That suits me. I'm fine with that. What's that? Learn to abstain from the excess of flesh. Hmm? New commander. Alright. So, I'm happy with that organization. Cross over. And move in on him. Hopefully we'll capture him with his morale is slightly lower and get that little bit extra bit of combat. Bonus. No, his morale's maybe nearly full by the time we ca catch up with him. Fate smiles upon him. My wife is pregnant. That is good news indeed. So I routed that flank. Doing much better this time. Much, 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 much better. Good. I am pleased. Good prepared a magnificent meal. Lots of different fruits. Special lady. You should try to eat modestly, but the food is too good. 40% chance of him. Gluttonous. Temperate. Stewardship, church opinion, same trade opinion. Uh, I would like to try and become temperate. Did I become temperate? I did not become temperate. Well, we're going to win this battle. We're going to have 330 troops remaining. That should be enough for me to commit to the siege. I'm going to let him bimble around and be kind of useless. He doesn't have enough troops. In the interim, we have 187 gold, which means we should probably look at building a castle town. Investing in the gold first means we'll have more cash to buy more castle towns, and then we just keep building more and more of the finance buildings, and then once we've got enough money, we can worry about something else. Collected a tithe? Thank you for the 19 gold, my steward. 
I have proved most heartedly. You're going to try and siege my capital, aren't you? That's where you're going. It's not going to work. Well, you're going over here. Uh, garrison is also too big. Yep, you can siege that. That is the symbol for the siege. Has been a siege is not progressing. Oop, there goes the order save. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> Outbreak of disease. All right. Um, you quickly come over here. You are needed. Didn't really want to have to call you up, but yes. So we're getting no progress on the siege whatsoever. So that little bit of progress we did gain is gone. Just waiting. It's waiting for February, so now we start getting progress. We outnumbered them ever so slightly. Assaulting would be a bad thing to do, so minus five exactly. I just need to keep waiting, I suppose. It's uh, not the speed up. Oh, a traitor, that's good. A son was born! Banya Yakapala. You start off with learning four, apparently. So you're of interest to me. How's my other son doing? Family. Uh, you're getting a few traits here and there. You're only two. You get. Oh yes, gavel kind. Don't believe. Ten years. Yes, I'm happy to meet that baby boy. Group you up. Really, really want to see it, Commander. Ooh, another traitor rumor. Up here. It's nice. Yeah, damn it. There goes all my progress again. Rumors of a traitor! Rumors of a traitor. Disease outbreak. So I took casualties annoyingly. Um, I think... If you put your guy with a higher martial score in charge, then I believe you'll take less casualties. But, uh, looks like we are going to need to run away. If we're going to run away, we might as well go to here. We're standing, this war is just going on and on and on because I can't siege anything. Um, stand down. Uh, military. Now I have 400 troops, yes. Uh, probably shouldn't have started that fight. And you know what? I decided. That I hit the wrong button for that one. I decided I don't actually care. Um. I am leading the center. Just gonna go with a single stack. For now, until it looks like I might get attacked, but go over here. Yes, we will lose that battle on those men. Very small change in the war score. You make your way over here. And you've finished running away. Hopefully with 400 men. See, his levy is also recovered slightly. A castle town has been built! Huzzah! means I'm now getting 36 gold per year. Everyone's in the center. Oh, everyone's in the center. No lack of supply. 5.1 per turn or per 12 days. So that, this is now going to 45 because we've got a minus 22 penalty for the fact that he controls the blasted thing. Oh, Ruma, a corrupt noble. Uh, yes, use it as you see fit. Excellent, 50 gold. Well done, my wife. Can we upgrade anything else? No. No, so we need 149. So we are making money at a reasonable rate. I am hoping that eventually we'll get to the point where we might be able to take this siege. Trouble some peasants again. High taxes. You annoying steward. Not good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This guy's portrait keeps changing. And I keep missing it slightly. It's probably because he's leading commanders, not leading commanders. Yeah. Yay! So we are now up to 90%. So the war score against us has gone away. And now in our favor. 
22.23% that we control this province. Wow, and this one's got no fort level. There's only 195 people on it, so it should collapse quite easily. This is why, previously, I was so happy when I was able to... There we go, that collapsed and took us 12 gold. We don't have enough capability to siege um, that temple, because it's got so many defenders. Wow. Well, we've got the 100 we need. I would like to be able to siege more, but I will offer this peace. Enforce my demands. Huzzah! We are now a triple count. One, two, three. <laughs> Go back to the military tab. Stand there's 992 people available apparently now. So that's going to take a year or so to wear off. But it doesn't mean that we are slow, but surely gathering more and more troops. All these people are mine. In which case, we should go to the vassal of the realm tree, find out who is a most powerful vassal who doesn't like us. You. You are a mayor of in here. That one will the vassals tax. Who is not paying me money? most amount of money not paid is the mayor of Juluan. Where is Juluan? Juluan is in here, so the marshals, you are already in the right place. Let's just do a quick while we wait for time to tick on a little bit. Oh, actually, hang on a sec. Just before we do that, we now have enough money for another castle town. Huzzah! Anyone else growing yet? Anyone else got more than two provinces? I would hope so. Or all these wars just being alarmingly inconclusive. Let's uh, just pause and have a quick look at the ledger. So there are wars going on. I mean, going on for longer than others. Possible inheritances, yes. Our titles, claimants, demands, realm. Realm levies, religions. Nice. Characters, realm size. Cheetah's mayor of Nepopolis has a realm size of 15. Oh, hello. So we found someone who's figured out how to grow. Nicely done, my lady. Ah, aggressively expanded. That's how. So, Nicolopolis is a major power. After that, we've got me. Oh, there's someone else in India. Ah, demand size one. So, Sheikh of Fez. I can go over demand size then. So, the Sheikh of Fez has grown. As has Bernard of Gutenberg. Contingent. Where are you? Oh, you're growing. So there are yeah, people are growing. Not as fast as me, apart from the Coppolis, has actually managed to outstrip me. Which is kind of creepy. So I suspect we might end up with a very large Byzantine rival. Very, 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 very far away. <laughs> have to wait and see how that goes. Alright. Can you book out? We can't. Let us hope so. Oh, yes. Levy reinforcement rate. Thank you very much. I do want my soldiers back. That's not going away till 778. We'll get the pop-up telling us when we can again aggressively expand. That's what we want to do. 38 gold. Uh, I know what we can do. Intrigue. Go on a tiger hunt. Invite your vassals. Hopefully this might improve their opinion of me. We do actually have positive prestige now. But it's ticking down quite a bit. Unpause. Is anyone going to come on a tiger hunt with us? Which may have gathered a hunting camp. So it'll be useful. It'll be a fine day. Ordinarily, as I say, out of character, I'm not a big fan of tiger hunting. Um, because you really shouldn't hunt these beautiful creatures. But in character, hey! Important part of the tiger hunt. 
They don't know they make up. You sit and talk to the small hours. Good time. Made a new friend. Nice. You and know. My friend. Fair enough. Who are you? You are... Baja have Langana, so you're one of my new conquests. And you pay me 1.84. Nice. I imagine you probably weren't paying me very much previously. A little bit more extra cash. Failed hunt. No tigers were slain. Ill omen. Lose 10 prestige. Bum! <laughs> Doesn't help when I've got aggressively expanded ticking along. It's going to go away next on the 24th. So I will have a very small dip into negative prestige. Then it will go away for a bit. Perhaps I should do it again. But that'll be next episode. I've been the Marmoset. We have been playing Crusader Kings 2 in the Shattered India campaign. We've been playing as Tako and Anuka of Kenya Bukya. We've extended now. We have three provinces under our control. We've discovered that someone else has even more, but we'll hopefully more power to us. Keep going. More power. Keep going. We still want a girl. Um, wouldn't mind some more karma. But now we actually have an army of 747. We uh, should be on our way to getting further and further. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Bye for now. Oh, and remember, like, comment, and subscribe.